Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome all the way from Bradenton, Florida, Tim Foley. Thank you. No flash photography, thank you. Uh, recently bought a pair of jeans at Target and they I don't, I don't have a lot of money. So she's not going to look at me the rest of the, the, rest of the show. It's okay. Recently bought a pair of jeans at Target. And they're 38 slim. That's the size. 38 slim. You ever met someone that's 38 slim? No, you haven't. Because it doesn't exist. 38 portly, 38 big bone, 38 with a great personality, 38 slim, I don't think so. Clothing sizes can be confusing though. Uh, recently I had a big change in my life. I went from a large to an extra large, or as I like to call it an extra, extra medium. It softens it a little bit, but it's okay. I went from a large regular fit shirt to an extra large athletic fit shirt. So the only thing that was holding me back from looking athletic was about 20 pounds of fat. So I'm trying to keep it on. The fat. I've got one of those bodies though, if I have the right shirt on, I could almost pass. All right. Almost pass for athletic looking when I'm standing. As soon as I sit down, it's like every fat cell in my body's like, hey, um, do you guys want to get together? <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. I appreciate the laughter. A lot of us right now are laughing through the pain, aren't we? Not the pain of being overweight, the pain of sitting down. Right? Where do you want to meet? How about the belt? The belt? Will there be enough room? No. What we'll do is we'll just meet at the front. What if there's no space? We'll just go to the sides. It'll be awesome. It'll be an overflow. There's so many overflow jokes I want to make. But I'm sure you've heard them all. Did you park in the overflow parking? I don't even want that laugh. That's not a good enough joke. Okay, some of you did laugh, and I appreciate you not laughing at that. All right. Recently uh, moved from South Dakota. Hold your applause. Um, so if you're wondering, there's nobody left in the state. That's what happened. Thank you so much. Big South Dakota fan. Moved from South Dakota, got here, and one of the things that shocked me about your state here is the fact that you have more than two restaurants. That's, that's all we got. We got Pizza Hut and Pizza Hut. And I got here, and you guys have things, you guys have, have places that sell one thing. One thing, it's incredible. I went to a smoothie place. That's the only thing they sell there. We started pull in. And there is a billboard to order from of things at the smoothie place. I don't recognize some of these words. What's a KCI? -a? Who's Quinoa? Did he write this? So I ask, and the little girl comes on the, on the thing, what would you like, sir? <sighs> some with strawberries? Ooh, the extreme strawberry blast. All right, I'll take that. She said, what size? I said, medium. She said, okay, would you like to add anything? Oh, uh, like what? She goes, like protein? <laughs> like chicken? <laughs> By the way, we've had several religious jokes. I appreciate them. Um, do you realize where we are at as a society right now? We drink powdered protein. That is the seventh seal in the book of Revelation. We're there. We've already hit it. 
protein. Uh, no, just do the strawberries. Would you like to add extra strawberries? What kind of place is this? Now you're going to sell me something called the Extreme Strawberry Glass. And it's not going to have the maximum number of strawberries already in it. My wife and I have five kids. Our oldest is a sophomore in college. Um, she went to school this last year, completed her freshman year. The first day when we dropped her off, uh, we drove back home. She's a couple hours away. And uh, the next morning she called and I said, thank you for calling. Uh, you don't have to call every day. And she goes, oh, sorry, Dad. And I said, no, 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 no. But you do have to text every day. Every morning when you wake up, text. Because until we get that text, your mother and I are pretty sure that you've been taken. <laughs> and so she has texted me every single day for 10 months. It's getting a little old. <laughs> Plant City, that's not far from here, right? That sounds like a made-up town that you say <laughs> to your wife when you're golfing. <laughs> Honey, where are you at? Um, Plant City? <laughs> Famous for the Strawberry Festival? That must be an impressive strawberry. That's it. That's it. It's not good. Wanted to say it though. <laughs> you guys got dollar stores here? Yeah. All right. My crap. So uh, one of the biggest financial obstacles our family has faced this year is that the Dollar Tree went from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five. I don't know if this is that kind of church, but amen. Dollar twenty-five makes math much harder. When you go into the Dollar Tree. They have a bin where stuff is marked on sale. I cannot imagine a situation in my life in any store where something catches my eye and I pick it up and go, ooh, dollar 25. I'll wait for this to go on sale. Now, if I were in charge of dollar stores, what I would do is I would sell cards. I cannot stand thank you cards. I don't like them. Thank you. I'm not going to give you a card for that. I'm just going to say it. I think it stems back to when I graduated high school and everybody in town showed up, small town, South Dakota. Maybe I didn't need to say both of those things, but anyways. People show up from town, they all give you money, and then, you know, mom comes in, slaps down these thank you cards, and says you have to write these by hand, and send them to people in the mail. And I said, okay, but only if they gave me more than $20. <laughs> thank you cards, they're redundant. They're redundant, they're like polite ping pong. <laughs> thank you, oh no. Now I have to send them a card because they said something nice to me. Now what? I guess we follow that up with an email. So I have created a thank you for your thank you card card. <laughs> These are available on the back. If you buy one and send it to me, that's fine. I'll take your money. If you put $20 in it, I'll send you a card back. <laughs> Not really. Uh, what does every thank you card, all of Mike Williams' thank you cards, what does every thank you card say on the front of it since the very invention of paper? Thank you. Thank you. It's the only thing I wanted to say. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Tim. What I would sell, though, is your welcome cards. Your welcome cards. What I also 
do sell uh, is your welcome cards. And on the back it says, this person did something nice for you and was worried that you might not have noticed. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> Let me fill it out right now. <laughs> Dear Karen. Karen, the other day, when everybody else left the office, and it was just the two of us in the cubicle cluster, you didn't know I was there, and you farted. Can I say that in this church? Okay. I heard it now. And you passed gas. All better. I heard it. I smelled it. Karen, I tasted it. And I didn't say anything to anybody. You're welcome. Well, my name is Tim Boyd. You're welcome. 